Welcome to the Academy, the pick and roll part one. Today we're going to show the importance of taking the correct angles in NBA 2K to improve your game. All great pick and roll playmakers and scorers know this common thing I'll be teaching today and that's how to brush a defender off the screen. This is the base for making the pick and roll unstoppable. But first I want to examine what many real life players and NBA 2K players do incorrectly which is taking wide angles and how that hurts the pick and roll. When you go wide on the screen, we're limiting our passing and scoring angles as well as getting pushed towards the help. Forcing a shot up even with a quicker and more skilled player would still end up badly. Add in defenders with clan to pick dodges and the results get even worse. At times, it is okay to go wide, but that doesn't mean you're going so wide you can't brush the defender off. So next, let's look at staying tight on the screen and how it improves our offense. This easy shot by CP3 is to do with how he's placing the defender in a two versus one situation, and this forces him to give up the mid-range shot, which is what he's supposed to do because he is playing drop coverage. But we're taking a more favorable mid-range shot with a lot of separation versus trying to create that separation off the dribble versus an elite defender, which is the whole purpose of a screen and roll, which is to create separation for your scorers and playmakers. Staying tight on the screen helps make the game easier, but it can be difficult without practice to actually maneuver around the screen properly. So let's examine the controls we have at our disposal to master the best angles for the pick and roll and to brush that defender off the screen so is the push cross. This animation can be done on the left stick or it can be assigned as an attacking crossover. Many players disregard these animations and their original purpose, not using them in the correct context. As you can see, this animation fits like a glove in the pick and roll. Compared to just walking around or worse yet, turboing through a screen as you won't be able to stay as close to your screener compared to the push cross. As simple as these animations are, you need to master them and learn how to trigger them on command with different dribble styles. You'll have to get into the lab and practice with your favorite team and players. That'll bring this part to a close. The second part, we'll look at more advanced pick and roll strategies like snaking, crabbing, pocket passing, and more. Drop a like and subscribe to help support the nation. I'm Jersey Me 93. Peace.